to that. Oh, this is something else. Another flash. Dude, we might be in that saloon bit. I think we are. That is an 1880s, 1890s era beer bottle right there. Mike just pulled out this gorgeous, huge Syracuse pharmacy bottle. Oh, Doctor, guys, this is insane. There's a ton of bottles right here. You know, we've pulled over 100 bottles today, easily. Easily over 100. There's a hutch. There's a flask. There's a blob. Three blobs. Three blobs. Three blobs. A blob here. A blob there. A blob here. None of us have pulled blobs like this ever. Just back to back to back. They're, they're stacked on top of each other. Hey right, guys, we are back at it. Here's the pit that we did a couple weeks ago. And we found one practically right next to it, a few feet over here. Um, getting permission was kind of weird because it's kind of like a... The property lines are strange, um, but we found the, the owner of this building here. And we're doing it. Hopefully this is a better pit than that one. We will see. Got this other bottle here. Looks really large. A lot of trash coming out. I think it's gonna be an ammonia. Oh no, well, it's a Lydia. Lydia Pinkham. Yeah. Well that's right up top. Yeah, so it's machine though. Still. Earlier machine, but yeah, I mean that's what a foot and a half, not even. So I always wanted to dig the blood purifiers. I've only dug the vegetable compounds. Special or the blood purifier is a little bit better, but let's see. Might be something next to it. Yeah, oh yeah, so I did see, I thought I saw a beer bottle, yeah. Watch it be a street side coke. Doubt it. It's small. No, it's not. It's like a wine thing. Or is it a beer? It's a beer, it's a Bartels out of Syracuse. And it's uh it's tooled. I think. Actually no, it's like really early machine, just barely machine, but you know, it's a Bartels. Let's see what else. Let's see if something else is poking around here. There's a piece of a jar, just a ball. Uh, oh, oh, dude, I. That might actually be a good one. Tally, right? Packed by the Tally. It's a ball jar, but I forget I what these know. say. These are either decent or really good. I don't, I don't remember. If Mike was here, he would know. Oh, this is something else. Another flash. Dude, we might be in that saloon pit. I think we are. I'll show you guys. You have the map, right? Yeah, map says saloon. Where we are, this is like a weird property line. Like, it's hard to tell exactly. It's right on Main Street. It used to be a saloon on the 1880-something map. Lifting some rocks out of here, and I see the top of this jar. Looks like an older... Older fruit jar. We did get an older top around here. It was a cross mason. It's intact. Nothing on it? No, there, oh, it's a oh, gem. Ooh, I mean, they're not... Cross gem. The cross uh, gem's better than... Uh, the the top was right here. Yeah. yeah right there. Can... It's right down underneath the yep. body of Pinkham. That's, yep. There's the top. Hero cross gem. Cool, dude. I've, uh, I've dug the gem. I've never dug a cross gem. Those are a little bit better. Watch, it has like a bunch of swirls or something. I've always wanted to find one with those nice swirls. This thing is absolutely full. Yeah. It's like sludgy. Watch it be full of coins. <laughs> cool, dude. Yeah, not bad. Send that to Mike and get him over here. Yeah, now Mike wants to come. Tell him jars are coming out. He'll be here in an instant. All right. Cool. We're gonna open it up. We're gonna get ready to go live here on TikTok for the first time, so that'll be cool and see what we get. Hey guys, we've been getting some stuff. Can't remember what you've seen. Uh, I know you've seen the jar. Pulled out this really cool lid. Did you show them this, Ryan? No. This is a hero fruit jar lid. I'm pretty sure it says um, there's letters all around the cross there. H F J Co. And uh, oh, dude, nice look at that pottery there. He's got a bottle down there, and it Some looks like it could be nice. It's a soda or something. I've gotten a couple of sodas, yeah. but they've been blank. Looks like it's a beer, it's amber. I see embossing on it, it says like it looks like it says do not yeah. be sold. Oh, dude, it's probably, probably a blob. Yeah, yes, yes, and it's embossed. What is it? Be from Norwich. Oh, really? I've had Norwich blobs. What's the name? 
L.B. Bassett, Norwich, um, New York. Looks like okay. good color. Yeah, I don't recognize that one. I know someone that collects Norwich. Yeah, so Kevin, go. that one guy, Kevin. Cool, dude. Best bottle to come out right there so far. Is it? Is Sweet. I think it looks like a beer bottle. Yeah, it, it is. I like the beer bottle. Yep. Cool, dude. Well, I think you, you need to go to school. Nice. Need to give up All right. Well, there we go. We think we're uh, in the saloon pit, and pretty much everything we've found has been pretty indicative of that. There's some other stuff here. This is like some of the newer stuff, some of the newer-ish stuff that was coming out um, in the first, like, you know, a few layers. But, yeah, clay marble. This marble would have been really cool here. This is a nice, would have been a nice shooter. But now it looks like we're getting into some older stuff. So, awesome. All right, guys. Ryan's been getting down there, um, pulling a lot of stuff out now. We're live. We're live on TikTok over here for the first time. We got 330 people watching us, and we're popping some bottles out. It was just a medicine, but the milk's right here. Milk? Yeah, right here. Oh, the bottom's busted out. Uh, oh, oh, it's that's a local one, too. Uh, Damn. Oh, it's an older one of the... That's the same company as the one we pulled earlier, but much older. It's a medicine bottle or something. This is like a whiskey. Yep. Whiskey flask there. This is... Uh, oh, it's like an ammonia. Yep. So that would have been an ammonia bottle there. But just tons of stuff coming out. There's another bottle down in there. Right here. Flask. Yeah. That's an older, better flask there. Better than the last one that popped out. It's a turn of the century warranted flask there. About 1900 or so. Someone said calling OSHA. That's a food. That's a food bottle there. Would have had like olives in it. Another flask. Another late 1800s, early 1900s flask. Yep. It's older. Definitely older. Like an early Heinz, maybe. Some sort of pickling or something. It's a, it's a blob, I think. Yeah, it's a blob. Could it be Frank, Frank Zeller? It's freaking non embossed, dude. Oh. <laughs> that sucks. Damn. This is an older bottle, guys, but it doesn't have a name on it. Um, just they would have had a label instead of actually putting their name on there, so. That sucks. That would have been nice. We've been really? getting into some more stuff. Um, bunch of stuff's been popping out bottles and stepping on a bottle as we speak here this is an old another old extract different size but looks like a big old teapot beautiful shape it's, that, it's actually a nice shape yeah see if there's anything inside of it the uh, enamel protects that uh, that metal has a piece of the pottery in it it's enamel coated metal so it can survive unless it gets you know punctured and then the metal will rust through but that enamel coating protects it so that's pretty cool and that's you know right around 1900 1910 right there see what else is down in there from the shane top. just pulled this out from montrose yep. soda another and one. another one back to back then he's got nothing or there's something down something in there. else something else Let's see if these guys can Get a better view here. Oh, wrong way. There we go. I've been working in this corner now, so hopefully you guys can see. Yeah, I think we can. Looks like it's going to be another one. Yep, yeah, sure is. Three in a row. I'm <laughs> <laughs> sure those are there's another bottle here. It's like another one, dude. They threw away like a whole yeah, freaking six like pack of these. Yeah, it's like a whole pack of them. Wish we can get that with the blobs. 
Alright guys, there's a bottle down in here. Hoping it might be a blob. It's looking like it could be. A little more exposed. I haven't dug a blob in a long time. It is. it is. Dude, yes. It's a Binghamton probably. It looks like a it loop. It is. It's a Joseph Lore. It looks like a loop. Uh, it's a Baltimore loop. Yep. Baltimore loop. Dude, I could tell by the glass that I thought it was going to be a blend the bottom. Let's go, guys. Yes. That's a Binghamton blob top beer. Common one, but I haven't dug one of, I haven't dug a blob beer in a long time. I got a lot of the variations. Those are awesome. Dude, you know, nice light honey amber color on that. Sweet. Nice. That's my best bottle I pulled today so far. That is an 1880s, 1890s era beer bottle right there from Binghamton, New York. Binghamton's the parlor city. That's why we're the parlor city pickers and diggers. And uh, Ryan pulled a nice blob earlier from Norwich, so now we both got a blob beer. Sweet. Nice. I forgot to mention earlier to some of you guys, this outhouse that we're digging right now is actually from an old saloon. This building we're behind was an old saloon back in the 70s or 80s. We got another bottle down in here, guys. Looks like it could be a blob, just judging by the character of the glass. It's hard to say. It's a beer, nonetheless. Hopefully it's another blob. Pretty nice. Ah, oh, it's crown top. It's a... what is it? It's a nicer version of the one from earlier. The Scranton one. E. Robinson and Sons. Scranton, PA. Nice tool top pre-prohibition uh, beer bottle there from Scranton, Pennsylvania. Not too far from where we're digging now. So, that's a nicer one with the slug plate on it like that. Just pulled this nice citron green huge flask with a slug plate. Nice. Oh, dude, maybe a kilmer. Nope. Too small. Too small, yep. Unembossed, but... Nice older medicine vial style bottle there, 1880s, 1890s. That is an earlier square lip, probably 80s. Amber flavor, but it's like the the one style with the flat base. What the heck? I'm surprised it's that new. Not that it's new, but. It's machine. Must be late teens. It's a late 19 teens era whiskey flask there. Cool color on it. Nice amber. Some squeaky stuff going on there. A the warranted flask. Yep. You can tell we're in the saloon pit. Whiskey and beers and all types of stuff coming out. Tons of them. There's another beer or soda. That should be embossed. Maybe from a Wego. Dude, hopefully star? it's the Binghamton one because I don't have is one. It, yet. Star it is the Binghamton one. I don't have one of these yet. It's the Climax. Oh. I've never dug one. Cool, dude. I'll take that. Yeah, this is a Binghamton soda bottle. Somewhat uh it's a somewhat rare Binghamton soda bottle there. They're around, but you don't see them pop up very often. It's got this nice cursive script. The Climax soda. Yep, cool. Sweet. Mm. Not bad. He's got a he's got a blob top beer bottle down in there, guys. Maybe two. The blob's Maybe coming. two. It's in there. It's whole. Nice. It's a Binghamton Chasey Hate. Nice, dude. Charles Hate. Sweet. Let's go, dude. Some Binghamton blobs. <laughs> Let's go. The one right next to it is also a blob. And, uh, aqua. And aqua. What? Unembossed, probably. Unembossed. They always are. Not always, but check Not that out, guys. Slug on this one. That is a really nice 1880s era Binghamton blob top beer bottle right there. Pre-prohibition. LB 
This is uh, slightly less common than the Joseph Lohr one that I pulled earlier. Um, anything in some blob is a great find. Yep, we're in PA. Should I film it? Like on my phone? Like... Maybe a... Looks like plastic. You can just pull it, I guess. I could always take it from here in the live feed if I have to. Oh, it's a big pharmacy. Oh, dude, is it in Boston? It's Syracuse, New York. Oh, my God. Hold on. That's huge. 4J block. Guys, we were filming on our live on TikTok here. Um, we got a thousand people watching us. Mike just pulled out this gorgeous, huge Syracuse pharmacy bottle. Dr. Boss. R.C. Hangetti, it's... or Hanget, 4J Block, Syracuse, New York. Jeez, that thing is huge, dude. Dude, I know. That is killer right there. <laughs> that is a killer, killer druggist bottle right there. Look at how right, big this thing is. Gosh, that's awesome, dude. And he's got some weird porcelain pieces coming out. And mm -hmm. here comes a bot. Blob. blob. It's a blob? Yeah. Ding -ding. Ding -ding. What is it? Another Chase hate. hate. Let's get like a rare one we've never heard of or something. I know, for real. Sweet though, dude. Good find, dude. Yeah, hold that up. Here, yeah. No, nice don't keep one. it like that. Sweet. Nice dark amber too. Yes, dude. I've been wanting to get into some blobs. You got an apartment in Binghamton? Awesome. Another bromo? We're not digging in Binghamton right now, but we're real close to it. It's got the cork still in it too. Yeah. Nice. Here, Bromo. Sweet. Definitely an one. Ryan's about uh, eight and a half feet down in there in the ground right now. Popping out a bunch of stuff. Pink Diamond, I can't tell you where we are in PA, but we're in a small town in PA. We are in Bum PA. Watch the mouth. We're live. I don't know if we can swear or not. <laughs> I said Fook. Oh, uh, okay. Well, Bum Fook. Let's not. Pharmacy, a big one. We're going to get canceled. You got a big pharmacy? No, it's a food. If it's in Boston, I'll freak out. It's not. It's a food. Guys, we don't need shoring. If you look at the walls, they're already shored. They're stacked stone walls. Stacked stone walls that someone did back in the 1800s, so. There's an ink. Shoring unnecessary. Ketchup. There's a ketchup bottle. Oh, you can swear on here? Cool. Well, I mean, some people might not appreciate it, so. We'll try, oh, to, we'll Another try to keep it. Right Jeez. Unbossed. Unembossed? Yeah. Blank slug plate? Yep. Blank. What? On an amber one. That's, you can keep. You can keep that, Ryan. Right yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there's a. I mean, there's. You know, we've pulled over a hundred bottles today, easily. That's easily hard. over a hundred. You know, tons. Tons and tons. The milk looks good. Cool. Hey, we're not just bottle? after bottles. We're yeah, after any artifacts love. that might pop out. Is that one okay. just a slug, or is it embossed? It's embossed. Make sure Joseph Lauer. Make sure you're and it's a crown. It's a crown. Oh. Joseph Lauer. Ah. So that one's slightly newer than the other ones that were coming out. That one's about 1900, 1910. You ready for the milk? Yep. Yes, sir. Make sure you're getting good film of it, Mike. Oh. On that, on that uh, no, the milk bottle. On the milk bottle? Yep, yep, yep. It's embossed. It's embossed. It looks good. Really? It's a tin top milk, dude? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? It has like a shield on it. Dude. Make sure you're filming that good. And something New York. It's like a huge shield. What? Something Dude, New York for sure. It's to find these early milks. That's an early one. These Dairy the... something. Dairy something, yeah. Dude. Dairy something of New York. Limited. What? It's it's like... I'm mm -hmm. like literally speechless right now. It's like now. backwards. Let me see it. Yo. If it's backwards, it's going to be forwards on here because the TikTok. Oh, wait, no, no, it's not backwards anymore on the TikTok. Today. Dairy Company, New York Limited. Dairy Limited Company, New York, That's with a, a shield with. Uh, it has like Filming bees on things. it, dude. I got two blobs coming out. Bro, let me pull one. That has like the actual top still on dude, it. Dude, this is insane. That is awesome. And it that says something on the wicked. back, too. That's a, it probably says wash and return. Here, yep. yeah, it says this I just bottle, didn't want to drop it. This bottle property of uh, yeah, wash and return. Three blobs. Uh, Three blobs. Three blobs. What? You're freaking out over the tin top. I'm going to freak out over all of it. <laughs> Make sure you're filming that good, Mike. I am. I got that good on this. Get a view of that right down the hole. Yeah, if you can. Keep it nice and steady. I can pull steady. them right now. Keep it nice and steady and just look at the screen. Or let Ryan go on. Dude, this is insane, guys. We got a blob He's here. Got three blobs down a there. A blob there. You guys that don't know what a, and blob, a blob is. Here. It's an old beer Pull this bottle. first one. Blobs are what you want to be finding. Bro. It's embossed. It's a hate. Another hate? Yeah. There's different variations. Is it an IA hate or is it a 
Charles. Hey. Charles, I think. Charles. Travis, thanks, buddy. Here's the next blob. Double D said make sure you're filming it good, Mike. Double uh, D? This is a lower with the arch. Right. It's a lower with the arch? Yeah. Sweet. It's really dark, too. We're going to get the light here uh, set up soon. We're not in a well, we're in a privy. Uh, it's an old outhouse. Here's number th yep, so three. Hold that one up. Another lower with the arch. Another one? Yeah. Dude, three blobs back. Have you ever done that in your life? No. I've never pulled three blobs back to back in my life. They threw away like a whole yeah, freaking like pack. Yeah, it's like a whole please. pack of them. Wish we can get that with the blobs. Hey, Shane's tune. Ryan's been digging since he was eight years old. <laughs> <laughs> I will hop in for sure. Ryan has been digging since he was eight oh, years old. Cool. And you just witnessed something he's never done. Man, that's awesome, dude. I've done that many like in a day, but never like... Good never stuff, back right? to back to back like that? That's insane, dude. Oh, blob going in. Oh, I got it. Nice. What? He caught it, dude. It's not a blob. It's the... What? Ah, it's that one anyway. That was a great catch. It's a nice color, though. Oh, my God. That's a blooper. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, so Guys, I am like so stoked to get down in there right now. We're down in the pit. We're still TikTok live in it. I got a blob showing here. Um, a bottle next to it there, another bottle here, and another bottle here, probably another blob. So, we're going to pull them out and see what we got. There's a ketchup, ketchup junker there. This blob's looking good here. Yep. She's intact. Another, uh, oh, dude, let's no go. No it's just a Charles Hate, but it's the nice monogram I one. Like that. It's just the monogram, I one. Seen the monogram one. I have one. One was just on eBay not too long ago. Yep. And I said we were going to dig one. Sweet. No way, dude. This is a nice bottle with a monogram on it. We dug several of these. Damn. The Let's go. Awesome, dude. Careful with that, Mike. Show, show them. You can wipe it off and show them. They're probably going to want to see what else comes out, though, because there's other stuff here. There's another blob over here. This is just loaded in here, guys. Just absolutely loaded in here. You can see there's another ketchup bottle. You guys don't care about that. Ooh, there's a med. Oh, it's unembossed or it's a flavoring. It's just a flavoring extract. Literally the most generic flavoring extract. That's all it says. We'll get this up here, guys. Right up here. Oh, it's broke. Oh, it's. It was just a crown. It was a Wilkes Bear or something. All right. Nothing to cry about, but there are a lot of bottles in this. Look at that, dude! What? What? It's almost intact. Yeah. The whole picture. Yeah. Little cool. Make sure you're not getting too low, Mike, because it'll cut out for them. Yeah, it's above the hole. There's a flask in there. I don't know how I'm gonna do. I should have. I need to switch hands or yeah, something. Stay up above the hole more. Mm -hmm. Stand up. Sorry, boys. Sorry. Wow, look at this. <laughs> Big old plate. Get out of the hole, Mikey. I'm out of the hole. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Damn. Charles Hate. Oh, oh dude. Boss. It's a Scranton. Oh. Weird. Charles L. Conwell Pharmacy Scranton, PA. Why are we getting so many Scranton bottles? I mean, I'll take it. <laughs> it's still a good bottle. Show those guys. Man, look at this, guys. This is a this is the better pit on this lot. The other pit wasn't anything as good as this. I got another blob. Got another another blob. Oh my god, dude! There's like a there's a ton of bottles right here, huh? Yeah, with that for them, guys. This is yeah. All right, hold on, guys. I'm gonna pause this and we'll get right back when I reveal this stuff, guys. Check it out. This is already broken. I can see the crack, but it's a hutch. There's a flask. There's a blob. Careful. Oh, wait. Yeah, it's a blob. It looks odd, though. It looks like it might not be a blob beer. Can't really tell. Um, but there's a bunch of stuff in here. This is a, looks like a pharmacy bottle there. <clears throat> All right, we'll pull the hutch. We'll see what town it is. It's deposit. Yes. Yeah. Is it common? Yeah, kind of common. Yeah. All right. I mean, it's worth keeping and gluing. Still glue it. S. Hawks Deposit, New York. It's a backwards end. Yep. 
That's how the mold works. Error bottle. That mold up. You want to know what's really funny? Uh, My girlfriend's last, uh, family's last name uh, is Hawk. Really? Yeah. Does she have a brother named Mike? Uh, his name's Eddie. Damn. Texas, no. Not Mike Hawk. That's, that's Hawk. Oh, this is a pickle bottle there. That's definitely what that is, Shane. Pickle, pickle bottle. Look at all this stuff, guys. This is absolutely loaded. There's a flask here. It's broken. Broken warranted flask. Hopefully we find an old Colt handgun. My dad did find one in the Susquehanna River in the 1970s. Wow. The, the only thing left was the wood handle. Damn it, dude. A broken blob. This blob might be intact here, though. No turds. There is seeds, though. The seeds stay because they don't decompose. Yep. You'll see the seeds from... Ketchup is usually uh, hind. Hind is an old company. They started in Damn. The it's wet down here. The very bottom's kind of wet. This blob feels good. We're northeast PA. Blob's coming out. Oh, it's busted right on the bottom. Uh, what is it? Joseph, yeah, just a Joseph Lore. Joseph yeah. Come on, man. Still. Damn. Still be cool for bottle art. Set it aside because that'll be nice for that one dude to make art out of. Lancaster Street. Yeah, we. What? Oh, it's just a, just a bromo, bromo seltzer. I thought it was a poison. This is a, oh wait, oh my god, no, I don't think it's anything good. Yeah, it's a Henry Wample. I, yeah, that's what I thought it was. Henry Wample's Philadelphia medicine bottle there. They might want to see it though. Common bottle, but... We find them usually in the bottom. I mean, we're on the bottom, but haven't found any yet. Man, there's just tons of stuff in here, guys. A lot of construction work. Oh, what the heck is that? Dude, what is this? Ah, uh, what is it, though? Some sort of sauce. It's a sauce, yeah. It's, it's embossed. I can't tell what it says. Rochester, Cayuca, you're laying and stuff, careful. Cayuca Grape fr and Fruit Co., Rochester, New York. It's like a weird, you're raining a, bro. Sorry. <sighs> careful. Um, another weird one here, it's an early Heinz. That's an earlier Heinz bottle there. Um, damn, there's a, just a bunch of stuff. Another broken Binghamton blob. This blob feels good. There's a crown right next to it. Crown top, Joseph Laura. There's a blob. I'll try to get out. Uh, yeah, we found some of bombing bottles um, and poisons. Sorry, guys. I know this filming is probably not the best. Oh man, another broken blob, dude. Lots of broken blobs. Northeast PA, Northeast PA. Damn, it sucks seeing them busted. Man. No dirty diapers. <laughs> dirty diapers. A little food bottle there. It's a weird pit, kind of. Taking an old outhouse. Damn, there's just a ton. Look at that in there, guys. There's just so many bottles wedged in there. I'm going to have to take this roof off. Maybe I should just do that. Yeah, do that. Those guys will be able to see better. All right, guys, we're going to get rid of all this, take off the roof, get down in there. Still live on TikTok up there, and we're going to get a better view for everybody. So Got a couple got blobs coming out, guys. Got a couple of... Uh, couple blobs. Tin, uh, tin toys back then. Look at that. Got some blobs coming out of here, guys. Back into the bots. Can you guys see that? Yes, sir. My light's dead. Yeah, you can see other, them good up here. The other headlight. But. Two blobs back to back. One's Joseph Lore. One's a hate. Oh, I thought the top was going to be knocked off. No, it's good. Nice. She's good. This bottle never sold. Joseph Lore, Binghamton, New York right there.
Let's see what the other one is. I think it's another hate. You chase the hunt for new hunters by joining Facebook groups such as Parlor City there Pickers we go. and Diggers. Yep. Another Charles E. Hate right there. Double blob. Find it. full bottles. Actually, we have a video. One of ours Double is blob from it. finding some 1880s Hutchinson soda bottles that were full, factory sealed. Videos in our link are in our. They YouTube. can check it out on our TikTok. And, and the on full our videos TikTok. on our YouTube. Yep. All right, let's see what else comes out, guys. There are no wall supports because when they dug this hole He's back in the 1800s, yeah. OSHA did not exist. Guys, this, this is, is all the support. Stone. This is the support. This it's is a, the support. It's a structure. It's like a stone ground. foundation for a house. It's uh, it's not going anywhere. That looks... Ooh. Yes, we do find jewelry. Yeah. We found an old brooch in here already. It's like a, a, a little, little whiskey. Ooh, a Dude, whiskey. it's a whisk whiskey sample. It's a sample whiskey. Sample whiskey. No way, Kentucky. Ugh. Fredman Keeler and Co. Paducah, Kentucky. Dude, Paducah, that's Kentucky. awesome. Kentucky. I've never dug a sample whiskey like sample that. Sample whiskey. That is awesome. Crick Digger says that's awesome. Sick, dude. Check that out, Trav. Got it? Look at the top. It's yep. got a weird yeah, neck on it. Yeah, it's got a weird it. neck. Let just grab the top, top. Like, grab, like, like, I would just grab it. Yeah, yeah like, sorry, grab guys. It. Sweet, dude. Nice little sample. Let's see. There's a broken fruit jar, Mike. Oh, really? What's this one? Mason's Improved CFJ. Let me see that boy. That's uh, another ketchup. It's funny, all these junk bottles are right next to some awesome bottles. I'd like to get to dig in early milk like that. What does that one say on the base? Uh, it's a pad date. I don't know. You can show them. It's a, probably an early Heinz. Keep that actually because some of the early Heinz are actually decent. HA Heinz, yeah, yeah. It, is. it matches that smaller one that we dug keep earlier. That. Definitely keep that. You still filming, Ryan? Yep. Dude, another one. Another one. Another sample whiskey. Same one. Same one. Sweet. <laughs> Got a second. Those are killer, dude. Hopefully they're pretty rare. I don't know. I mean, I, I'm not familiar right, with enough. something here. Oh, it's a... It's a... Medicine? Flash. Probably nothing, but... Oh, there's a bottle. There's a bunch of bottles coming out. It's a Dr. Hands. Dr. Hands Colic Cure. Dr. Hands Colic Cure. It feels like, yeah. Bro, oh, dude, these are shot, planted. Okay, Junior. Glass. Is it an emboss? That's what I, yeah, I was checking. It's broken, but check to make sure it's not acid etched or something. Dang. I don't think so, but uh, I'll wait a second. We're totally in the saloon pit, right? I think so, yeah. It's all foods and liquors. 100%. No doubt in my mind that we are. I got another blob over here, guys. This is the I one. Forgot this one. This is the one from earlier that I was going to pull, and then I had to clear stuff out. Some bottles on top of it. Food. I can taste that bug spray. Let's go. Charles Hate. Another one. Another Man, Charles I wish Hate. we were getting like a variety. 2K. We have 2,000. Sweet. We hit 2K. Hit 2K for the live, guys. It's an 1800s beer bottle right there. 1800s beer bottle being alive. alive. Yep. Dug right out of this hole, guys. There's another one. I'll pull this and then I'll get out. Alright. It's another blob. There's two more, dude. <laughs> oh, oh, save man. one for me. <laughs> I got a freaking. <laughs> I don't joking. have a. You can pull both. I don't give a crap. The <laughs> headlight is dying. Or dead, <laughs> rather. What's that? That's Kilmer? A yeah, fig no, syrup. Arbor, Auburn extract. I've had one of those before. I sold one on my eBay, I think. I'm surprised we're not getting Kilmer. Just the right. <sighs> Perfect age. Auburn, New York. Can you see good, Ryan? Yeah. Auburn, Let me see that. Mike, you see good? Yep. Alright. You getting those last two blobbies? Yeah, I don't want to be greedy here. Just I hope that they're good ones. Yeah. I honestly hope that they're ones they're that we haven't gotten yet. Same as the others, which, you know. It better not be, Shane. It's not bad. I need embossed blobs. Everybody tell Shane to stop talking like that. It better not be like that. <laughs> it better be different. I wish I could get, like, a good, like... We gotta get like some photos. Here, take the phone. Yeah, I gotta take that phone. 
Cause this is like I can go down in with you. This isn't a trench box. This is an old outhouse. All right, guys, house. check this out. out. Mike, I would uh get over here. Yeah, go where I was standing. <sighs> Knock that right in there. Okay. Look at this, Mike. These guys, these guys are gonna want to see all this. Look at the. You see, no, see like them? Five blobs down. There. Can you see them? Yeah, I can see them. Sweet. So you're gonna dig two of those? <laughs> I don't. I don't know what to do. That's a baby bottle or food or something. Um, oh, that was an early flask, dude. Look at the neck on that. The flask? Or is it ammonia? Right. It's ammonia. Oh, okay. Yeah. Just ammonia. Yeah. This is a food bottle of some sort. On a boss, they always are. There's no shoring because we have stone walls. This is like on that. Spanish Jeez. blue? No. Can you see that good, Mike? Yes. There's a lot of freaking bottles in here. Dude, they're, they're stacked on top of each other. Yeah, look, at look at this. There's a blob right there. It's broken. Oh, that was different. That was like a different style, Hate. Damn it. Guys, I haven't pulled... None of us have pulled blobs like this ever. Just back to back to back like we this. We pulled hutches. But... Yeah, yeah, hutches with the soda still in them. I guess that's a little bit better even than this, but... Okay, so I see three blobs there. Charles Haight. Charles Haight. Sweet. There's blob number one. Definitely going to be giving some of these away. 1.8. To uh, Mike and Ryan and Shane. <laughs> but that was a different <laughs> one. It's an I hate. That's an I hate. That's an I hate digging crown tops. So let's dig a blob. Sweet. Good to get a different one. I have one. I've never dug one. Or maybe I have. I think the one I have, I've, I've dug it. It is a honey hole. It's oh, a Joseph Laura. Joseph Laura. Sucks seeing them like that, man. Oh, this one's busted, too. Oh. Tops there, Two out too. of two. Or two out of four. My bad. What are you talking about? Oh, two. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's a perfect bro break. Like, you could glue that. Damn. Guys, this is insane. Um, right, There's down. one more right there, and then I'm going to stop after that or should i i mean i got you mike guess what there's a jar there's a jar oh, it's broke damn it is it broken yeah, yeah. don't even tell me then <laughs> i don't know okay, what, let's, should, uh, should i just let Here, mike just, dig and yeah. all right then i'll finish i don't know one of the corners. we got a good bit to dig here i got a little blob on the wall justin we know when we hit, hit the bottom because um it's like hard pan it's not rock but you can definitely tell um when you hit the bottom Yep, we're in an old outhouse from the 1800s. I can't really get closer for you guys because it's going to lose service. Blob's intact and it's lower. Joseph Lore? Yep. Cool. Nice. Uh, here's a Binghamton 1800s uh, beer bottle fresh out of the ground. Ketchup. 1880s. 1880s beer bottle that someone threw there 100 and, what, 140 years ago. Alright, I got a. But we've dug some that were 15 feet. Uh, it just depends on how deep they dig it back then, or dug it. What's that? Dr. Alex Anders, Dr. Huh. Alexander's lung healer. Huh. Dr. Alexander's lung healer. You familiar healer. with that, right? No. I've never seen that. It's only got embossing on the sides. Lung healers. Hmm. <laughs> yep, so there's a medicine bottle. Um... Probably 1890s. 1890s. Yep. That's a lung medicine. Or at least they said it was a medicine. What it really was was probably a bunch of alcohol and hardcore drugs. Nope, no petrified turds, I I guy, but um oh wow. Oh I'm damn, I'm reading comments from wicked far up there. Not sure Sorry. these guys have seeds. <laughs> oh yeah, they're seeds. Yeah, yeah okay, so, the seeds are. So there's no turds or anything nasty left over, guys, but these these are actual seeds from the people that ate them, and the seeds remain intact. So even though, you know, the nasty stuff is gone, the seeds weren't decomposed, they weren't digested, and this is the actual seeds. Um, yeah, we do share with the homeowners. We always offer the homeowners um, many of the bottles. We actually probably normally give the homeowners a majority of the bottles if they want them, because we're looking for specific stuff for our collection. Um, we're kind of picky. So, you know, we always offer to, to share with the home or business owner or what have you. 
does for the most part. I mean, not to say that you can't do it. Oh, is that that's a Lafayette? Oh, dude, it's a it's a. That's the insert for a Lafayette piece. Is it? I think. Or is it a lightning rod insulator? I think that's a Lafayette. I think the center, that center piece. Oh, yeah, yeah, I think you, I think you're right. Quote, I think yeah. you're right. It's a good good find. Dude. Cool. Maybe the jar's down in there. This is an early fruit jar closure that Mike just pulled. That's a good find right there. I think it's a Lafayette. Yeah, I, th I think it is a Lafayette. Yep. We're in upstate New York, but we yeah, dig in. Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Still over here uh, live on our TikTok. Got plenty of people watching here. Guys, it's not dangerous, I can uh, assure you. It can be, but this is not. Nothing to worry about. We are digging an old outhouse from the 1800s. What's that, by the way? Dr. J.W. Bowles. Oh, yeah, cough syrup. Maryland bottle. I'm sure Travis has dug a million of those things. Might be a blob. Really? It is a blob. Yep. Sweet. Charles Haight. Charles Haight, yep. Yeah. Not the monogram one? No. Another blob nice. top. These are all in like nice color. I know. Really nice light amber on this one. Yeah, sweet. Hold it sideways, like the other way. Yeah. Look at that, guys. Sweet. Another uh, 1880s beer bottle right there. Super nice. Yep. Nice. Um, they put them here because back in the day they didn't have a. <laughs> They didn't have a uh, garbage pickup service. You would either take your stuff off to the town dump or you would throw it in your outhouse. That's just what people did. They didn't have indoor plumbing, so you already had the outhouse in your yard, and it was already a nice deep pit with nasty and stuff in a it. little fun fact, most modern services didn't show up until the Cold, or Cold War and World War II, like when the Soviet Union was around. Huh. Because it was a socialist idea. Yeah. To bring, like, snow plowing and stuff like that. Services. Yeah, Brian's got another blob. Can you film it on this, Mike? Yeah. You filming? Oh, uh, yeah. Hold on a second, though. Try to hold it steady as you can. Like. Got it. Nice start. Right, unembossed. One. Unembossed? Yeah. Damn it. There's another one. Oh, uh, there's many bottles that can make us excited, Dan. Dane. Another blob. A lot of the bottles that have been coming out, we've been getting excited about. We found a lot of good ones. All this stuff's been buried for over a hundred years. I mean, anything we're pulling right now has been in the ground for over a hundred years. You're talking about a complete time capsule. That's what's so fun about it. It's the closest thing you'll get to going back in time. Food bottle. Heinz. Early Heinz. Yep. Broken. How do you know where to dig? Um, we use old maps. And There's another blob. Oh, yeah. yep. right, out. right out. You got it, Mike? Yep. I hate. I hate. Oh, nice. That's a different one. You didn't dig one of those yet? No. Sweet. Very nice. nice. That was a nice you dark amber. Yeah. You do? It's Never really, dug one, though, right? Really nice yeah. dark color. I think the one I have I bought. I don't think I dug mine. Um, it depends, schmoops. We keep them if they're chipped, if they're good bottles, but if they're not anything spectacular, um, a lot of this stuff, you know, Another just blob depends. coming out. Another blob. Make sure you're getting it, Mike. Got it. Oh, there's Smash another blob in there, too, dude. Nothing on it. No, another unembossed? Yeah. Yep, and there's another one right another up in the wall. There. Travis said this must be the hate privy, or the hate saloon. That big serving spoon. Wow. Yeah, that's about the the biggest collapse you're gonna see on a dig like this. It's nothing. Whoa, what's about. that? What the hell is that? Salt uh, shaker. It's a bottle, but the top's not. Uh, oh, it's a perfume. Yeah. <sighs> Probably a dude's perfume getting down and dirty in the old saloon. Yeah. Right. Catching more than cholera back then. We are in Pennsylvania. We are digging an outhouse. Um, a privy. That's a bone. bone. Yeah, there you go. There's a bone. That's green, too. There's a bone from a cow. Back then, little fun fact, they ate those bones. Just kidding. It'd be fun to see Too if blob. someone actually 
crap one out. Make sure you're getting out and filming. Like yep, I got it. Two blobbies. A broken blob. Another, Another broken, broken blob. blob. Another broken blob. Shot glass. It actually is Fully intact. Cool. Sweet. Usually those are... Shane's about to have a shot tonight. Nah, probably not. <laughs> <laughs> Cool. Shot glass right there. From oh, the yeah. Two blobbies. Oh, I missed it. That one is a blank. No. No. Joseph Lauer. Did Joseph you get it, Lauer. Mike? Yeah. All right. Make sure you hold it steady. Yep. It's hard to. I know. Sometimes. Yeah, I got, I'm like Michael J. Fox. I got Parkinson's. Oh, it's got the weird top on there. <laughs> what do you mean? Oh, it's like got that. Bulge. Oh, wow. Really? Yeah. Dude, I, yeah. I know what you're it's talking about. It's got a about. bulge in it. Cool. Here's the other one. Oh, yeah. Oh, the other one's damaged. Oh. Here you go, Shane. Look at, that blob. Hate, but it's a Look at that weird. Bossing. So these tops back in the day were applied by hand, and you can see like, look at how crude that is. They basically like mess this one up. But that's There's a, a hutch. Oh, you a hutch. hutch? It's a reed. A reed? What? Yes. Which one's a reed? Uh, it's Binghamton. Binghamton. F.A. Reed. F.A. Reed. F.A. Reed. You mean grief? No, F.A. Reed. reed. Oh wait, what, dude? That's, that's, a that's a Binghamton reed. That's a rare one. one. A we only got like two of them. Here's your phone. I'm yeah, recording still. Take a photo of that, right? Guys, this is a really rare bottle that's about to come out. Really, I think we only got one of these. All right, here it is. It's a F.A. Reed. I don't have one in my collection. It's one of the rare Binghamton hutches. This is one of the rarest. Hopefully undamaged. Yes. Nice, dude. Nice. Nice. Fantastic. Yes, dude. That is why we do it. F.A. Reed. Right there. That's Congrats. really rare Binghamton Hutch. Best find of the day. Yeah. Definitely. That tops. That's it. awesome. Tops mint. This is like mint. Dude, we got three K. We got three K watchers. Here. Uh, I want to get it on it's here. It's got a little crack. It has a flash in the in lip. The neck. Oh. Not very small. Not anything crazy, but. Yeah. Right there. Not anything too crazy. Still, honestly, for being one of the few that I've seen, that's a very nice one. I haven't seen one with the rounded base like that, though. Not like know. that one. I don't remember. Yours, yours, I think, was more flat. Don't remember. And hopefully uh, you'll be with us on our next dig. What's that? Dr. Van Wert Balsam. Huh. Van Wert Chemical Company, Watertown, New York. Watertown. Hi right, guys, we are wrapping it up. We're all done with this pit. I'm getting a lot of it uh, filled in. It was a great pit. It was a saloon, and everything we found was very indicative of that. And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed watching. Here's some of the finds, which I'll show you cleaned up. Got a bucket full of blobs, a bunch of various goodies, and you'll see it when they're all clean. Gonna get to work. show you some of the bottles all cleaned up we dug so many bottles out of this pit that I have to do it in sections so for now this is all the blobs uh, not including some of the slick ones that we got but these are all the nice nice embossed ones here and you got a pretty decent variety uh, most of them being from Binghamton but we did get a couple of uh, 
tougher variants. Uh, this one here is a pretty tough one out of Binghamton there with the monogram, the Charles E. Haight. And then we got a couple other Charles E. Haight variants, uh, different embossings and different shades of amber, which was nice. And then we got two of the I Hates. I believe those are probably a brother of his. Uh, I haven't confirmed it for sure, but I imagine, you know, some relative of some sort. And then Joseph Lohr, the other... Joseph Lohr and the Charles Haight are probably the most common Binghamton beers, but, you know, common... I mean, you don't really see them that often, but when you do see a Binghamton blob, it's probably going to be a Joseph Lohr or a Charles Haight. But we got some variants of the Lohrs, too. Some different embossing with the, the arch and the... Uh, middle brewing co embossed so that was cool some nice varieties and some nice colors on those too this one's really light amber yellow there which is nice and then the first blob that came out was the norwich one that ryan pulled uh this one's got to be pretty rare i wasn't able to find another example of it online uh, i do know a guy that collects norwich stuff i haven't gotten a hold of him yet but i'll have to get a hold of him and see if he has that one but that was pretty sweet and we'll get into the other stuff and here's some of the other alcohol related bottles other than the blobs we got some pretty nice crown tops there of uh, different towns Wilkes Bear I think we got a couple Scranton's um, did we get a Syracuse no I guess Scranton Scranton Wilkes Bear and uh, Binghamton we got some of the Joseph Lohr crown top variants there and a couple of flasks, quite a lot of flasks. Um, we actually really only kept maybe a third of the flasks that we dug. Uh, we left quite a few for the the property owner, and some were just you know too common. I mean, not that these aren't common, but we just grabbed these for the heck of it. Um, but we did leave some behind. This was actually kind of cool. When I was washing this, I was like, oh wow, there's a huge root system in this. And I just left it just because it's you know kind of neat. Being a common bottle, I feel like it actually makes it kind of cooler to leave it in rather than take it out. It's kind of kind of cool, so it's kind of weird. Some of them, actually a few of them, had like some, some roots in them. I guess they were just, I don't know, close to the top or something to do with the, the ground there. I'm not really sure. But And then uh, the nicest things out of these, at least, were the sample whiskeys. These were really sweet. Um, definitely the best sample whiskeys I've ever dug. I don't, I don't even know if I've ever dug an embossed sample whiskey before. Um, I think I might have only have dug slicks prior to these, and I pulled both of these here. These are really nice. Uh, I looked them up. They're, you know, decently scarce. Um, pretty sweet little bottles there. So those were definitely really cool. And uh, we got this little shot glass. I wish this was embossed or acid etched but nothing on it. Nice little fluted pattern there along the bottom though, and you know, it's, it's old. Definitely all this stuff, you know, came out of the saloon that used to be in that brick building, which is just pretty cool to think about, and pretty much everything we found, you know, like you saw in the video was very evident of that, so that was really neat. And we'll get on to the other stuff. It's pretty crowded, but here's everything else that wasn't a beer or whiskey. <laughs> pretty much um, got some soda bottles some fruit jars and milk bunch of uh, food product jars and bottles in the back row there bunch of different early Heinz and other condiments and food products um, that teapot actually cleaned up quite well considering you know the circumstances it being enameled metal and being in the ground as long as it has. That's kind of a cool little find there. Uh, we got some other medicines, mostly common stuff. Lydia Pinkham's, the Henry Wample's. Um, some of these I hadn't seen before. This one I've seen, the uh, Dr. J.W. Bull's cough syrup out of Baltimore there. I've seen that one. But this one was a new one to me. The, uh, the Lung Healer, Dr. Alexander's. Hadn't seen that one before. 
Um, these, of course, I've seen the Kemp's Bosom and the Dr. Hands. Um, this is an extract, but I've seen that before as well. And the sperm sewing machine oil there. This is cool. I wish it was more local and, you know, I mean, Scranton isn't too far away from us, but we don't necessarily collect it. Still was a cool little druggist there. Semi-local druggist, I guess you could say. That's pretty neat. This one I don't remember ever seeing before. Uh, Van Wert Chemical Company. Dr. Van Wert's Bosom out of Watertown, New York. I don't think I've seen that one before. That was kind of cool. Um, one of my favorite bottles that came out was this huge, huge druggist out of Syracuse. This was insane. This thing is massive. Um, I don't know if it really does justice through the video here, but this is a nice big druggist bottle. You really don't find these very often embossed like this. Uh, if this was Binghamton or Windsor or another local town, we would all be flipping out. Uh, even with it being Syracuse, I mean, that's, you know, I still really like it. Even though it would have been nicer to, to have it be a little closer to home, but that was a really cool one to pull, uh, be pulled out, so. Nice little surprise. When you see those big druggists like that, they're almost, they're, you know, 90% of the time, maybe even 99% of the time, they're not embossed, so. To see that come out, especially undamaged, in that big size was just ridiculous. And we got some other little odds and ends here. Of course, we got the Bromo Seltzers. <clears throat> um, we got this kind of cool chemical or something or another bottle that's got a purple stained interior. And some other little common things. This inkwell's kind of early. It's got a design pen of 1895 or 1885 even. So that was a kind of cool little spool ink there. And we got two plates of the same variant. The uh, early Ironstone China, Alfred Meekin, England. One's undamaged, the other one's got a couple chips. Uh, we got some pretty cool fruit jar closures here. Um, before Ryan and I had dug these, I don't recall ever seeing them. They're apparently hero fruit jar closures, but they're pretty rare. Well, I guess you wouldn't say rare, but scarce for sure. Uh, we pulled two of those. One, fortunately, has a crack going through the middle. Uh, you can't really see it that well, but there you go. Crack going through it. But those are pretty nice. I definitely have not dug them before. I don't recall ever seeing them prior to pulling them out of this pit. So those are pretty cool. Um, this one I'm more familiar with, you know, we pulled more of these. This, I guess, would have been a nice one here, unfortunately damaged. Uh, I think this was a Kleins, if I remember correctly. Nice early fruit jar closure. Shame about the damage there, unfortunately. And I got a couple little random finds here. Nice little early skeleton key, which is really cool. I think Ryan's the one that eyeballed that, if I remember correctly. This is a cool little find. And this thing, I don't even know what this is. Um, I mean, obviously not precious metal, but possibly some sort of ornamental, you know, jewelry piece of some kind. I don't really know. Looks like it has maybe an embossed letter there. Don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Um, but one of the heartbreakers, in my opinion, I love early milks. And this was one of the earliest milks I've ever seen you know, I didn't personally pull it out of the ground. I think, what, Ryan was the one that pulled it out. Um, but, you know, this was just a really, really early tin top blown and mold milk bottle made by the Climax company. Um, just a really gorgeous early milk bottle. And it unfortunately has a big lip chip, lip chip out of the back there and a little bit of a base chip as well. Um... Which sucks, you know, but it still displays really nice and it's still a nice find. This bottle to be washed and returned, not to be bought or sold. So, you know, they expected to have their bottle returned to them and many people, including this person, did not return them to the distributor, thankfully. Um, still a really cool find and it displays really nice. We did get this one too. This was broken, um, but this was another early milk that came out, same era, 
Uh, I can't exactly see what it is. It's a clover, blah, 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 milk company. Um, yeah, I can't quite make it out. Maybe Alex something. With the clover's there, and it looks like it's got the Star of David. But that would have been sweet as well. And we got this other jar here, the gem. Common jar, but this was a nice example. Uh, really whittled. Might not even pick up as well in the camera, but it's got a real nice whittle to it. Uh, overall pretty good. I think it's got a little lip chip, but a lid would, would cover that right up, so no big deal. And one of the better finds, one of the best finds, even though it's got damage, um, this Binghamton Hutch bottle here is insanely rare. Uh, one of the rarest Binghamton Hutches there is. F.A. Reed. Um, for those of you who haven't seen, go check out our video. We pulled, I think, close to 40 hutches out of the river, fully sealed with original soda inside of them. And out of all the ones we pulled from that spot, we pulled two of these, which was previously unknown to exist until we found the two from that spot. So this is only the third example known to exist. All three have been dug by us. And I mean, this is just a really, really rare bottle. Um, arguably, you know, maybe one of the rarest Binghamton Hutches there is, like I said. And unfortunately, it does have some damage, of course. Um, I'm 95% sure that it's due to the stopper being in the neck like that. Um, you know, when they tossed it, probably the, the pressure, you know, of it, be, of it being stuck in the lip like that made it crack, unfortunately. So that sucks. But still, you know, a really, really nice find. Um, that kind of blew my mind that that was the only Binghamton Hutch to come out, and it happened to be that one. Um, and then I got this deposit one here, which was broken. I glued the top back on. This was actually, like, entirely broken off. But I glued it back on. This is a deposit New York with the backwards ends. Ryan had dug this before. Um, he dug a dump out on a lake somewhere where him and our friend Steven had dug some of these But that was a cool one to pull And then this one even though it's a crown top. This is actually a pretty scarce little Binghamton soda here uh, the climax soda company or soda water FL Norton Binghamton, New York um, I've never dug one. This is my first time ever digging one. I actually didn't have one in my collection either and you know you really don't see them that often it's a nice you know early crown top 1910s 1900 era crown top there so that's pretty sweet and then i happened to dig a bunch of these <laughs> these george b felker out of montrose pa got a ton of these sodas i thought we had even more than four um i might have missed a few i thought we dug like an entire six pack of them practically but we got those four there and Still, you know, nice bottles nonetheless, but yeah, it was a really fun pit. Uh, it was our first time going TikTok Live, which that was really fun. We're definitely going to try to do that more and more. Uh, it's fun to, you know, interact with the viewers as we're digging the stuff. Just enjoyable for, for all of us, so we're going to try to do that some more. If you're not following us on TikTok, be sure you go ahead and do that. Um, we're also on Facebook and Instagram, and of course here on YouTube, you know, subscribe to our channel and... You can see us on the next video we do. I'm um, working on the next one right now. Should be up in the next few weeks. And this spring and summer, we're going to dig hard. So be sure to stay tuned, and we'll catch you on the next one.